Okay, very little time has passed since the last upload, and um, I'm playing with the camera filters a bit to see what the different camera filters look like. And I fully put everything away and unplugged everything and so forth. And I took a clonazepam because basically it's a balancing act. And I think if I can do three for this 24 hour period, which is very quickly going to be the next 24 hour period, the next 24 hour period I can try to do three again. And if I can make three the top and two the bottom instead of four the top and two the bottom, you have to be a drug, drug addict of some kind to understand what I'm saying here. It's basically how to get off medication that you don't want to be on anymore. Uh, so, the camera style that I chose, well, it's actually just the next option uh, on the list, is called Vivid. So it's for vivid quality. And you may notice this video from today compared to two vid videos ago, which were also for this waking cycle, this cycle of me being awake. Um, yes, I took the clonazepam, but I sound less drugged. And that is likely because I wasn't that anxious. I was just doing it for the level of medication that was in my blood. Um, I don't know. I, I hope you understand what I'm saying about this. It's just you have to slowly reduce the amount of drugs you're on. And you do it slowly so you don't get overwhelmed. And, uh... So I do feel a little bit drugged, but I feel like I'm talking more or less normally. Uh, is actually my voice sounds a little bit deeper, um, but whatever. Uh, I don't feel uh, slowed down in my brain. So the last practice was about 16 minutes, and uh, if we completely removed the camera from the equation, which I'm sure a lot of you are saying, why don't you just do that? Why are you making so many videos? Um, this would be like taking a 5-10 minute break, I don't know, maybe it was 20 minutes between practices, which from my piano training is something you do sometimes. I don't know, like people ask me how often I practice, and I said I used to just like strum while listening to an album, uh, but with headphones on so I couldn't hear how the strumming sounded. Um, and uh, I considered that practice, uh, but uh, I guess if you want to say like sincere trying to learn practice, it's more like half an hour a day, half an hour to an hour a day. Um, and uh, I mean, I guess if I stick with it, like even just doing 10 minutes a day, you'd make some progress. But, but part of me is like speed demon, I want to get really good really fast. Uh, and that's probably lame and counterproductive. So harmonic. And then let's switch between harmonic minor and natural minor. Let's slow it down and try to press down on the frets a bit harder. There 
there's a mistake. There was a mistake. Okay, so maybe I am a little drugged. And they talk about rock stars doing drugs, but I mean, maybe they learned when they were young and then started doing drugs, but like, doing drugs does not seem to be helping me at all. It seems to be making things worse. Not that I'm on, like, you know, the drugs you associate, I associate with rock starism, but maybe a new generation. I know a lot of the young kids are, not, I shouldn't call them young kids, I'm such an asshole. A, young, a lot of the, the adults who are 10 years younger than me um, are on Adderall. And that's left over from their teenage years because I think like it's become less socially acceptable to punish like kids in the same way. So when kids get out of hand uh, in like high school, middle school, they tell them they have ADD or ADHD, and that was going on. Like, even when I was, but I think it's like really widespread. And I think maybe also there may be a movement against spanking, or at least I hope there is. And it um, makes me curious like, do, do the kids that don't get spanked, are those the autistic kids? Or are those the ADD kids? I'm old enough that ADD used to be the normal way to say it, but now most of the time people say ADHD. Um, I guess that's similar to how in the 60s bipolar was manic depression, and now it's bipolar. Even though when you have bipolar, they talk about you being in either manic or depressed states. So I don't know why they changed the label. Um, people often change the label of like a uh, status conferred upon someone that affects them negatively in society. They call, you know, chocolate, dark chocolate, I don't know, that's part of the, probably marketing. Um, and then how I'm paranoid and anxious that I said something offensive, but I don't think it matters because I don't think many people are watching and I don't think I'll ever be famous and if I'm ever famous, there's probably just going to be years of like, oh I've said much worse over the years. I've there was an interview with Billy Corgan, and I don't know if the Smashing Pumpkins have any credibility at all as a retro band or something like that. Uh, but yeah, I was bored and drinking a lot, and I decided to watch Billy Corgan. And he was saying that uh, celebrities basically have to be like politicians now, and everything they say can be taken out of context and put in a quote and a headline in a newspaper. People just read the headline, they don't do any research into what was actually said. I'm glad I don't have that problem. Um, so I am getting a little bit in a trance doing this, and the trance may be a result of the clonazepam, so maybe drugs are good. Uh, that's a bad message to end the practice on, obviously, but I was, I was planning to do some chords, uh, and uh, I think I did that pretty well. <laughs> Last, okay, 
for this one. This guitar one is alone. It's alone for my friend. And, um, I think this is a chord. Yes. It's alone and it came with a broken string. six-string guitar, which I interpret as him saying, it doesn't really matter how many strings you have on your guitar. I would prefer to have six. But I, I mean, there's people who go nuts and they, they put, um, they put, what do you call it, like nine-string guitars or like the double guitars. There are probably people out there who purposefully only play with one string. Maybe that's even a different instrument, I'm not sure. You know when someone says, like, name an animal that starts with the letter D? And you're like, ah, uh, duck, I guess. But the, like, there's so many animals that everyone knows. Dinosaur, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so there's animals that everyone knows. start with D, but most of the time they just say duck. And what I was thinking was maybe there's a one-string instrument that's really obvious, and I'm just not thinking of it. Yeah, so when I got this string fixed, I should pick up a pick just to see what picks are like. Even though I, I feel I feel almost talented using fingers, seeing how everyone uses picks. But I think what my friend was saying was, you know, you're gonna tear up your fingers. I've heard I've I've seen guitarists uh, with like cut up fingers, a band-aid around their finger. And um, want that and I don't want a chord to uh, so yeah I don't want anything to break and hurt me If I was doing that correctly, that would almost be a song. Um, but I suck. Uh, da -da. I think you could pretty much just play around with these and make your own chords. And people were like, someone said to me on Skype, he was like, oh, oh. I said, oh. People have been playing guitar for hundreds of years. Don't you think they know the right way to play guitar? But isn't the whole point to come up with something new? And then there is the thing about you have to learn it the right way before you learn it the wrong way. But I don't know, I feel like I'm making a lot of progress and it's a little bit unsettling. I've mentioned this before, I never thought I could even try to play guitar. I don't have these memorized yet, but when I refer to the chart, it's becoming easier and easier to just put my fingers there. So yeah, I think we still have at least a few weeks to go before I'm done with this repetitive business. But um, I feel, feel like I've just played through everything I'm capable without the bottom string. Um, and Oh, it's 15 minutes, so time went fast. 
and I hope that you could hear the guitar over my talking. And it's a good sign, or to me it's a good sign, that I was able to monologue a bit while playing, like split focus, I don't know. Um, so yeah. And I don't feel too tired yet, but I should probably sleep soon if I don't want to mess up my sleep worse than it is. Or maybe it would be fixing my sleep, I don't know. But goodbye for now.